Greetings YouTube family and welcome back to another video. And today we are gonna be talking about if moving to Latin America will solve your problems. Now, you can apply this for any country in the world, of course, but as this channel is based in Latin America, I wanna give you all out here who wanna know about Mexico, who wanna know about this entire region, the real story, okay? So we're gonna focus on Latin America. And I thought that this was pretty interesting because you know, I'm seeing a lot of people, content creators, I'm seeing people that are in a travel space, even just, you know, people commenting and saying things like, yeah, you know, if you're unhappy in your home country, just get out, you know, just move to another country and things will be all right and, you know, that'll solve your problems. Now, could that be a situation for some people? There's 8 billion people in this world, so it could be anomaly, anomalies out there that all they gotta do is get on a plane and then go jump to another country and that's it, you know, like, I've seen people saying like, you gotta move to Peru or move to Mexico or just get up and do it. Just go move to Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia, and you know, everything's gonna be all right. But you know, while I wish that for all of you out there, one thing you have to understand is, is that you need to solve whatever issues that you have in your home country before you move along, you know? Any unfinished business, any stress, any, you know, personal issues that you may have because even if you remove yourself from your home country and you still have things that are you know some stones unturned that's gonna follow you mentally you know what i mean you know it may not follow you physically like a person coming after you but it's gonna follow you mentally and there is no cure all for this right like i said who knows the particular situation where somebody just needs to leave could could be i'm sure it's happened in the world before but i don't want you all out there to you know just believe everything everybody says because not everybody knows all of the answers. I don't know all of the answers. So that's why on this channel, I talk about things that I know. And if I want to talk about something that I don't really know about, I do the research, you know what I mean? Because I want to give you all out there the most accurate information possible. I've seen some YouTubers that I know, when I say that I know, but that I respect, that I follow, that have given misleading information saying that, oh, and here it's, it's just one way, but it turns out it's another way, you know, vice versa, however you want to call it. And, you know, it's like, man, I respect these people, but they're not giving out the right information. You know, it's like, you know, you're not being straightforward with your followers, you know, because there's people out there that really don't, you know, they're new to the whole, you know, expatriating and going abroad and everything. And some of them are trusting in people because they're like, oh, well, this, this guy or this girl, man, they're really good at what they do. And they got all these subscribers, they got all these followers and all these videos. Oh man, so I'll just say what they say and just follow that suit. I always recommend no matter how accurate information is from a person you're getting or how great they may be, their, their, their material, if you feel, I mean, even if you don't feel like it's trustworthy or you do, always just kind of search for your, yourself so you can get that self-assurance that you looked for the right information, right? Because I could be wrong sometimes. You know, I've been wrong a lot of times in my 38 years of life, but you know what? That's a part of, you know, living and, you know, learning, right? So, but on this channel, I want to give you all the real deal. So basically, uh, I'm, what I want to say here is just be careful, okay? Don't just think that, okay, well, you know what? I got all these problems. I have some money. I have a remote job. I'm just going to leave my, you know, I'm going to leave my country and then that'll solve everything. And then I'll have the cure to, to life. No, you won't. And you have to get things in order. Now, it may even be like, okay, let's say you want to escape for like a little while, right? And you're really interested in coming to Mexico. Okay, we'll figure out where you want to go in Mexico, stay a little bit and get to know and get to feel the place because it may not be for you. You know, it may, it's not for everybody. Not everywhere is for everybody. And you know, it's one thing to be prepared and know where you're going, what to expect on that lifestyle, okay? As opposed to just, oh, it looks cool. Oh, I, I want to visit there. And then you may not even like it. And there's a couple things to, to, to consider as well is that even though it may seem nice, you may not like it as a permanent solution. And also, there are going to be things that you may not like that happen in certain places. For example, there's things here in Mexico that I don't really particularly care for, just the way certain things work. But you know what? That It's a trade-off for me because I really like being here. I like this country. I love the culture. And you know, just those few little annoyances, it's not a big deal for me to just say, you know what, I'm gonna go somewhere else. Like, it's worth being here to me. And that's why I'm here for four years. So, you know, that that's one thing to consider as well. So there's gonna be trade-offs. And then when it comes to bureaucracy, like if you need to get, you know, if you're trying to get residency, that's another thing to think about. 
you know, because some places are more bureaucratic than others. Some places are quite easier to get your documents, but you may have a little bit of a hard time, just the many steps that you need to take, you know, depending on where you're going. So that being said, y'all, I just wanted to make this video, do a little walk and talk, even though it's starting to rain a little bit, but it's only water, so I'm not worried about it. But I want to do a little walk and talk and talk to you all and let you know that, you know, while moving abroad can greatly reduce the quality of, I mean, sorry, greatly increase the quality of your life, depending on your situation, and make you happy just because you really like that place, just make sure you have your personal affairs in order before you go anywhere because you can't snap your fingers and then everything is all good. You know, we're all adults out here, most of us at least, or have a concept of how the real world works. And we know that we have to take care of our business, take care of our responsibilities, you know? And guarantee you all, I can guarantee you all right now, if you have any personal issues that you feel that are lingering and you solve them, and then after you get them solved, you're like, you know what? I feel great and I feel like I'm ready to take the next step. Then it's gonna be a much better transition because you're gonna have those little things out the way and you won't be worried about it. And it could be something that you could get away from physically, but certain things you can't get away from mentally. So you'll have mental clarity and you'll just be in a new space, a new state. Then when you have it like that, you can focus on your new living situation. Focus on going to the new country that you wanna go live, right? Because you've got your basic things taken care of and your you know problems, your issues solved. So that will give you a whole peace of mind. As I said, there's no cure-all. For everybody just moving abroad is not going to cure you know your your issues but if you work on your issues first and then you do what you got to do to get those taken care of as quickly or however you can do it then make your move and while you're doing all this you can plan your move you can say okay i know i got these things that i need to get corrected but at the same time let me do the research let me see what i need how much money i need or what the requirements are to live there you know in terms of residency let me see you know all the information I need so that way I can be con constructing this plan while I'm taking care of my other business. So then when everything is taken care of, you can just hop on that plane and say, see ya, and you out. And you're going to your new destination, okay? Trust me, you're gonna feel so much better if you do it like that, as opposed to leaving when you still have things left behind that you need to settle. And you know, you'll have a clear mind and you'll be able to focus on your new journey, okay? So I just wanted to bring that up and talk to you all about that. I think it's very important. Don't, you know, like I said, don't listen to any of these people that are saying this is going to be, you know, a universal remedy for everybody. No, do what works for you and do it in a way that's going to make your life easier, especially if you have things that you need to solve. OK, because like I said, or I will say <laughs> is that, you know, what's better for you than more than anyone else. You're inside your own head and you got to do what's right for you so don't rush things um i can understand how it is how you just want to get out of there and you know get to it you know put yourself in a new environment do it the right way because i promise it's going to pay off in the end and you'll be able to relax you'll be able to do all those things explore and really absorb your new environment okay and whether that's coming here to mexico whether that's going to costa rica or nicaragua or colombia or paraguay wherever it is that you want to go you can apply it there all right so that's all YouTube family. I appreciate you all tuning in. If you're new and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate it. Hit that like button as well. And yeah, more videos coming soon. I haven't done a walk and talk in a while. So I figure why not get some exercise and talk to you all. And uh, it all works out for all of us, right? So that's all. I hope y'all stay safe out there. Take care. And like I said, guys, before, I mean, I mentioned a while ago, if you have any video suggestions you want to see me talk about, feel free to drop it in the comments. I'll be happy to consider it and make videos on it. I mean, if the demand is there, because this channel's for you guys. I mean, I enjoy doing it, but this channel's for you guys. So feel free to share your comments, thoughts in the comment section below. And that's it to the next video, all. Peace.